As I'm sitting here, the mountains are disappearing and the van's starting to shake. I am boondocked right just south of Joshua Tree National Park today. And I'm just sitting here actually editing videos and, uh, and doing all that. I'm a little obsessed right now. I keep dreaming about shooting and edi editing videos. So you're gonna see a lot more from me. As I'm sitting here, the mountains are disappearing and the van's starting to shake. I think what I need to do is probably turn the van into the wind because this is looking like a really nasty windstorm. And right now I am broadside of it, and so I think I'm gonna nose into it so that uh, I'm a little more aerodynamic. Being level in this spot was pretty challenging to begin with. So we'll see how I do have, and nosing it back around. I don't even have shoes on. I don't think I've ever driven the van without shoes on. step was still out. Dang it. <laughs> All right. It's not the first time I've done that. I'm sure it'll be fine. If not, I'll get another one. All right. Well, that feels pretty level. I might have blown out my step. I don't see it anywhere. It's probably flattened somewhere. I think I'll wait for the dust to settle and then try and find it. I decided to go get my stool. You can see where I kind of ran over it. At least this time, so I've lost one of these, but um, at least this time it, it broke away like it's supposed to, rather than actually breaking. Got turned around, and the mountains are totally disappearing. I'm not exactly level, I'm a little nose up, so I'm gonna have to turn around before I go to bed. The hills behind me have totally disappeared now, though. Uh, the sand is so thick out there. I decided to go ahead and turn the van around while it was still light um, because I I need to sleep with my head up. Um, actually, we all do. <laughs> it's really important to have your head above your feet or level um, while you're sleeping. The wind is so strong. It's, uh, gosh, it's 9.15 and I think the wind started at about 3.30. So this has been going on for a while. I'm washing my dishes and it almost feels like I'm on a moving train. The wind is blowing so hard. It's kind of shaking me from side to side. And it is, um, it's gotten so much worse than it was a few minutes ago that my fruit is actually, um, it, it got detached from the wall yesterday and it's starting to bang against the wall. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy out here. Ridiculously, I actually had to take my fruit hammock down. I can't get it to attach to the wall right now without getting the hammer out, and it's in the back. There's no way I'm going outside. But the van is shaking so badly that the fruit was uh, starting to beat itself up. Good morning. I made it through the night. The dust storm seems to have passed. Still getting a few gusts, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and go today. I'm gonna, I don't, this probably isn't the most efficient way to get to Oregon, but I'm gonna head back through Joshua Tree. I might only make it all the way through Joshua Tree today and stay at the north end. There's another BLM camp at the north end. Well, not a camp, another, another swatch of BLM land that I can camp on for free up there. 